Hey, look at that. We're right back into Nancy Drew, Curse of Blackmoor Manor. And uh, this is the 11th game in the, in the series, of course. 11 games. I've actually recorded... Ooh, what have I done? Was it 17 through 32? And then one... Well, no, I haven't done one. I Oh, I did the remastered version of one. I haven't done two, but I've done three versus to ten. I think I've got maybe five left of the old ones. But anyways, let's get into it. This is Jean, who's the girl, and um, she was chatty. I couldn't even exit here to save here. She just kept talking and talking and talking, so you missed just this last sentence here she kind of said to us, but we're going to go ahead and get to right in here. When did she start getting sick? I was playing in Mommy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady all dressed in black putting something on Mummy's nightstand. Oh, that can't be good. Did you recognize the woman? I couldn't see her face because she wore a cape with a hood. The lady put a note on Mummy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when Mummy started feeling poorly. I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. It will cheer me up. Why wouldn't anyone have, like, listened to Jane and, like, <laughs> investigated? Sure. What would you like to play? Look inside the chest over there and pick a game. My great aunt said it's a hope chest, so I put my games in there in the hope someone would come over to play. Wow. We can Aww. play Bull, Constellation Match, Petroglyph Punch, Skull and Bones, and I also have a jigsaw puzzle. You sure have a lot of games. I love games. I want to make computer games when I grow up. Wow, she's adorable. She wants to make computer games? My goodness. We, uh, what should we play? We've got Skull and Bones. That's, uh, hmm, interesting. Uh, let's find out what this one's all Feel about. Feel like playing Skull and Bones? Sure. <laughs> we have to open this up. My friend Hugo bought this for me. It's like Go Fish, but you have to collect three of a kind of weird things like zombies and ghosts. You go first. Okay, so we need three of a kind, so that's interesting. Ah, uh, okay. How do I... Do you have any tombstones? Here you go. All right. Do you have any coffins? Nada. Any haunted houses? Get out your shovel. <laughs> Do you have any spiders? Dig. Any haunted houses? Go dig. How about one of these? Do you have any tombstones? Here you go. I got a match. Yes. I guess I shouldn't celebrate too much by uh, beating a little girl, but still. Do you have any ghosts? Dig. Any haunted houses? Sorry. How about one of these? Do you have any coffins? Sorry. Do you have any skulls? Get out your shovel. Do you have any spiders? Go dig. Any haunted houses? You're going to have to go dig. <laughs> okay. Do you have any coffins? Go dig. That's a match. Your witches, please. All yours. Wait, I had a Do witch? Do you have any zombies? All yours. You got a match. Good for you. Do you have any skulls? Go dig. A match? Hmm, you're doing great. Hey, how did she get all those matches so quickly? Do you have any ghosts? Nada. Any bones? All yours. Oh, these are mine as well. Your witches, oh. please. You're going to have to go dig. I didn't realize these were mine up here, too. Do you have any bats? Nada. Would you happen to have any ghosts? All yours. Your witches, please. All yours. Wow. A match? Hmm, you're doing great. Do you have any skulls? You're going to have to go dig. You got a match. Good for you. Ha, <laughs> she must have like 20 matches by now. Do you have any coffins? Go dig. Would you happen to have any ghosts? Seriously? All yours. Seriously? A match? Hmm, you're doing great. <sighs> any bones? Get out your shovel. A match? Hmm, you're doing great. I want to see her board. She's cheating. Do you have any bats? Nada. That's a match. Do you have any coffins? I won. What? Do you want to play a game? Do I have a choice? Have you ever seen anything strange outside? Once I saw my Uncle Roger's toupee fly off during a windstorm. Talk about freaky. <laughs> she is adorable. I mean, have you seen a strange animal outside? 
No, but I have heard weird noises like this, howling. But not like a dog howling, more like something human. I don't want to think about that. It's scary enough having to live in this gloomy place. Do you think there's a treasure hidden around here? I highly doubt it. I mean, if there were, wouldn't someone have already found it? When I asked Ethel about it, she said that it's the Penville name and heritage that should be treasured. Blech. <laughs> Do you know what the password is for the computer in the library? Yes, but I won't tell. Not unless you beat me at Skull and Bones. <gasps> no. You go first. Oh no, it just popped me right into this thing. Oh my goodness. Do you have any tombstones? Here you go. And we're back at it. Do you have any witches? Dig. Do you have any spiders? Sorry. Do you have any bones? Here you go. Do you have any skulls? Sorry. Do you have any zombies? Go dig. Do you have any ghosts? Nada. Do you have any spiders? Go dig. Go dig. Do you have any witches? Sorry. Any bats? You're going to have to go dig. Go dig. Do you have any haunted houses? Nada. Any bones? All yours. A match? Ouch. Hmm, you're doing great. That hurts. Your witches, please? All yours. <laughs> Do you have any zombies? <laughs> All yours. Really? Do you have any skulls? All yours. Holy you got a cow. match. Good for you. I don't like this game. Why? How Do can you she... have any spiders? Afraid not. How can she keep going like that? That's insanity. Do you have any tombstones? Here you go. I got a match. She got like four matches. Do you right have there. any ghosts? Nada. Your witches, please. Oh, All yours. Man. You got a match. Good for you. Do you have any zombies? Afraid not. Do you have any haunted houses? Dig. That's a match. Do you have any coffins? Sorry. Do you have any ghosts? Sorry. Do you have any spiders? Go dig. Do you have any coffins? Here you go. That's a match. I gotta steal the cards back from her. Do you have any ghosts? Sorry. I got a match. Do you have any zombies? You're going to have to go dig. Ha -ha. You got a match. Good for you. Oh my... <laughs> Do you have any spiders? Here you go. I got a match. Do you have any zombies? I win. Finally! You Finally. won. Good job. Yay. Okay, the password for my grandfather's computer is on his coat of arms, plain as day. Ah, uh, that doesn't help me at all. I don't know what his coat of arms is. All right, fine, I'll write that down. The lady in black you saw in Linda's room, did she look like anyone you know? Like I said before, I couldn't really see her face, but she was kind of dressed like the lady in the Great Hall. Which lady? Eleanor. I know it sounds weird, that's why I didn't want to tell anyone. It's too creepy. Sometimes I wonder if I just dreamed it all up. Mrs. Drake is always saying I have a rampant imagination. Nothing wrong with that. Do you want to play a game? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's play a game. Oh, wow. Bowl, Constellation Match, or Petroglyph Punch. Haha, <laughs> Petroglyphs. Uh, okay, let's do Match. Let's play that Constellation Matchup game. Okay. I actually found it in your room. Actually, it's Bridget's room. I mean, it used to be her room. I mean, she died like 300 years ago. You can see a painting of her in the Great Hall. She's the one with the telescope. Oh, cool. Okay, so you have to match up a pair of constellations. I made all the matches in 40 tries. Tried to beat my record. Oh, it's a matching game. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, here we go. Come on, put on your memory cap, Gibbs. Let's go. Mm. and Lyra. Oh no, this could take a while. Oop. Is that that one? Oh. Oop, that one's there. Corvus? No. I'm doing terrible with the matching. A 
<laughs> oh boy. I don't think I did this in the 40 moves you she wanted. You beat my score! Oh, Felicitations! Good. Yes! Yes! How many more games do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. You know what? Let's just take a little break for now. I should get going. Toodles! Don't worry. We'll be back, Jane. We'll play more games, but I just want to see what else is going on in the room. <laughs> That's my family tree. Ask me anything about anyone. Go on, ask me. Jacob. What about Jacobus? He died when he was like nine. Who was Adam? Oh, uh, like he married Eve. Duh, no kidding. I actually don't know anything about him. I think he was the son of Hugo, though, but I forget. Tell me about Randolph. Randolph the Red, so named for his bright red hair, was considered a hero at the Battle of Portiers. For his heroism, King Edward III awarded him with the lands in the region called Penvelin. That's how we got our name. Wow, this girl is incredible. Odo, that's an odd name. Yeah, he isn't very exciting really. Like farming and cows. His son Milo is much more interesting. What about Milo? Milo inherited not only his grandfather's red hair, but his military prowess. Milo was instrumental in the Siege of Khan and was awarded even more lands by Henry V. And Hugo? Um, he had a lot of kids and his dates were 1401 to 1466. Tell me about Albert. He was very mysterious and the people of Blackmoor were afraid of him because he knew all these scientific things. No one knows much about him though. Oh, how many pages are here? Tell me about Edmund. He was into cows. He did a lot of breeding of cows and sheep and got some kind of award from the king. Who was Charles? Oh, oh, Charles was a famous judge and wrote very important books on law. But his boy, Garrett, drowned while he was really young. Oh, that's sad. Who was Gillian? She married the Duke of Ballingsford, but she stayed at Blackmore to raise her son Thomas, who inherited the estate when his grandfather Charles died. Tell me about Thomas. He was Charles's grandson and wrote a lot of poetry. He also had three wives, Catherine, Anne, and Mary, <laughs> but not like at the same time. They <laughs> died and he just remarried. I see. Who's James? He never married, but one day when he was very old, a baby was found at the doorstep to the manor. He took her in and raised her as his own. That was Eleanor. Look how old he was when he died. 90 years old. Back in the 1500s? That is insane. What can you tell me about Eleanor? Just that she was burned as a witch, but it wasn't true. And her father, James, died when he saw her die. And then the family fled to France. I don't want to talk about this. Okay. Who was Edward? He lived in France with his father, Le Comte de Roquefort. He was very interested in languages and translated books from Greek and Latin. Smart. And more pages. Tell me about Corbin. Oh, uh, I don't know. He doesn't have a coat of arms in the Great Hall because he didn't live here. Wasn't even a British subject. That's all I know. And Philippe? He made a fortune in the New World and bought back most of the lands that were confiscated by Cromwell. Who's Penelope? I don't know much about her except that she was very loved by practically everyone in England. And there were a million poems written about her. Hmm, nice. If I have a boyfriend, I'd never let him write a poem about me. <laughs> Tell me about Martha. She was completely daft. She'd wear really bizarre outfits, and she was one of the first women to ride on a steam train. Hmm, nice. Tell me about Brigitte, the one born in 1759. She never married and was bonkers for astronomy. She adopted her sister's son, Richard, who later got killed at Waterloo. Tell me about Richard. He died in Waterloo fighting against Napoleon. Tell me about Edward, the one from the 19th century. He was a big explorer and went all over the world. He wasn't very close with his son, who was also an explorer. They'd only see each other by chance in weird remote places like Samarkand and Walla Walla. And it continues. Who was William? He was an explorer, just like his father. He was kind of a whiner, so I heard. 
Who was John, the one who was born in 1873? He was this huge naturalist and did a lot of exploration in the Amazon. I think there's a plant named after him. Or maybe a monkey, I forget. <laughs> who was Malachi? He was a doctor of medicine and did a lot of research on icky skin diseases. Happily, I'm blessed with perfect skin. Oh, Jane, you're just silly. Who was Alan? He was my grandfather, but I didn't know him because he died when I was little. I guess he was nice. Alright, I am exhausted, Jane, from all this family tree stuff. So we're going to go ahead and uh, back out of that. I mean, I'm sure there's more to learn, but my goodness, she is an encyclopedia. <laughs> Runes. <laughs> Who's singing? Runes are a set of symbols that came to Britain with the ancient Germanic people who immigrated to the country around 450 AD. They were used throughout Northern Europe during the Dark Ages, which lasted from around 500 AD to 1500 AD. Because these symbols were used for writing, among other things, they can be termed an alphabet. The original runic alphabet was made up of 24 symbols and is known as the Elder Futhark. The first six runes spelled out the word Futhark. The runes were comprised of straight lines so that they could be easily cut into wood or stone. Well, that makes sense. Huh. Futhark. Futhark. Futhark? Futhark? The Elder of Futhark is divided into three... Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Hey, look at the little Viking drawings. Ha ha! <laughs> How am I supposed to know this stuff? I'm gonna have to come back to this, I'm sure. I like that it's got doodles all over the place. Each rune not only represents a letter, but an object or being as well. That's kind of neat. Monsters! Nigel gave that to me when I was in the library once. I think he was hoping it would scare me, but it didn't. I'm too smart to believe in that sort of stuff. Yeah, me too. Werewolves. Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Quite detailed uh, book here. Why is this just focusing on werewolves, huh? This phone number just might come in handy. All right, well, let's put that into our phone and call up, call up that person. What else is in Jane's room here? We'll just poke around. Oh, she has her own easy bake oven. I use that to make cakes for Lulu the parrot. That's why the ingredients are so nasty. Like, I would eat mealworms. Aren't you glad we don't have to use that thing to cook our food? I saw the kitchen. What happened to it? I guess you could say I happened to it. But it was Ethel's fault. She inspired me to study the oxidation rates of different kinds of cookie doughs. Only my snickerdoodle experiment got away from me. <laughs> Your snickerdoodle experiment? Ooh, Coco Kringle. Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. All right, Nancy, what are we gonna make? Coco Kringle? Sure. How do I... Fresh blueberries? Mealworms? Ew. Uh, salsa? Sure, why not? Salami? Unsalted nuts? Mixed beans? Crackers? Blueberries, more worms, put that on there nicely, <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Oh, you know this is going to be super good. <laughs> what is it even called? It looks a little bit like pizza. I don't know, do you think Lulu's going to want it or is she going to get all angry with me? Who's this? That's my mum, my real mum. She's an opera singer. It's not like she's famous or anything, but she does live in Paris. Ooh. What is this book? Don't know really. Ethel gave it to me. She said it belonged to my grandfather. Do you think Brady Armstrong is cute? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Ooh, check this out. It's got some crazy art in here. 
Each of those cups seems to be associated with a Roman numeral. Mm hmm. This must be a clue for something. Okay. Oh, candy. Oh, I can't get any candies. Oh, look, and Nancy doesn't have a reflection. She's a vampire. What else can we do in Jane's room? Wow, look at that tapestry. That was written by Charles Pemberlin way back in like the 1500s. When I read it, it seemed really familiar, you know? As the moon rises upon thee, fear not, but draw upon the strengths of absent friends and toast to their memories and happiness and wonder. When the stalwart heart of a knight, let charity be thy guiding angel. Stay firm in the knowledge as a dedicated I'm not even sure. Zeometer? And fear not the ravages of father time. For dear child, as you learn the lessons of folly, the secrets of this world shall dawn in thy soul. Oh, that's very nice. Wow, look, imagine having a door like that in your bedroom. Well, Jane, what do you think? Should we explore your desk here and see what else is going on? I totally love that show. Isn't Brady Armstrong so dreamy? Total hottie. <laughs> oh, total hottie Brady Armstrong. <laughs> Obviously a little bit of a callback to an earlier Nancy Drew. <laughs> She's fangirling over here. What else can we do here? I'm just, I just can't stop. I want to touch You everything. had a guinea pig? Yes, but it died. When? Aww. I don't know. I'd really rather not think about it, all right? Aw, poor guinea pig. Looks like you're learning some interesting stuff. Bet you wouldn't say that if you were the one who had to learn it. <laughs> Blech. 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Woo, that's a, a day and a half. Art projects. <laughs> Alright, I think we're done with Jane for now. I think we're gonna go and let her uh, enjoy her day there. Looks like she's doodling or something. We're out of time. Thanks for watching Nancy Drew and your gifts, and we'll see you next time.